Wait, does this connect? I cannot tell, but let's give it a try. Can I not land here? What? Oh, the fog is gone at some points. Dude, I'm really confused. Why can I not land in that little patch of land? So I see a beach nearby. Can this fog, like, stop? It's hurting my eyes. I cannot see. Alright, so I don't think we're going to be able to hit up uh, the Green Menace. Hey, land here, game? Uh, game, are you okay? I'm at a beach. Why can I not land? Alright. I've come to the second conclusion that Vesperia's boat also sucks. Don't think we're going to be able to head back to Green Menace. Why is the game not letting me land? I'm at a beach. Or is this not considered a beach? Yeah, I'm of the opinion that Vesperia's boat kind of sucks too. It's still better than Symphonia's, but anything is better than Symphonia's. Even Eternia's boat is better than Symphonia's. But, um, I guess we can't do that. So we did part two. We're gonna have to come back for part three. Um, I don't know when. I'm not sure when the bridge at Dongress is gonna be fixed. To be honest. So we can head to Halor. Just all the way over here. Is there really no way to go back to Cave Mock? Find that a little hard to believe. Alright, so there's Gaiden Hold. We have to visit Zophius, Halor, Capwanor, and Capwatorum. So we should do Capwanor and Torum first because they're closer. Uh, hit up the world map. Capwanor's right there. Capwatorum's there. And then we got, um... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Aplanor and Torum have two things. But we should do this in order because some of them are parts. We should just head to Halor first because Halor has two side quests. And we can't go... We can't go to the other areas because, um... We can't go to Capua Nor for a side quest now because we have to do the part in Halor first. So I think I'm just going to go down the list. Because some of them are parts and you have to do certain parts first, obviously. But like... That's how this works. Also, hopefully I find land. Like, soon. Because I'm of the opinion that Vesperia's boat kind of sucks. Oh, the Dark Enforcer- the Dark Enforcer quest is in Zophius. We can hit that up, that'd be nice. So is the game really telling me that I can't go where I was just trying to? <laughs> Dude, I have no idea. This boat is so slow. <laughs> Dragon Quest XI's boat is much better. Dragon Quest XI has a great boat because it can dash. Like most Tales of games, the boats are pretty bad because you get a flying, you get air transportation relatively soon. Like in this game, you get Baul, and in Symphonia, you get the Rayards. Dude, why can I not land here? I don't. Oh, now I can. I don't understand Vesperia's boat. I don't. Leave me alone. Actually, you know what? I want to see what you guys uh, give XP wise. Man, could you be any What's up? Oh, you guys are really weak. Okay. Good to know. What's up? I'm gonna kill you. Yes, yeah, sign of victory. Ooh, this looks like a new enemy. I do want to fight it just to get it on my uh, monster book. A tentacler. Definitely never seen this thing before. Goodbye. No, I said goodbye, I have a gun. I'm a child with a gun. Yes, we really can't lose. Also, I like the massage therapist costume is fine, but I might change it. I had something in my throat while saying that. But um, I might change the costume. Also, we are at Halor. 
with no issues at all. Also, I definitely noticed the winged boots giving me a good speed increase with um, the character on screen. You know what? We gotta walk as Patty before we lose her. Because we are gonna lose her temporarily in North Apollica, but then she'll join like kind of shortly after, I would say. Alright. So, Halor, we have two things to do talk to the kids under the tree and speak to Sicily before the inn for Raven to learn an art. So, where is Sicily again? Oh, I guess I found him. Uno, due, tre, quattro. Is this Spanish or French? I have no idea what language this is. No, it is too difficile. Is this is Spanish, right? It's too difficile to do by myself. What to do, what to do. What's that? That guy's the definition of creepy. <laughs> yeah, maybe we ought to just keep moving on. Oh, Buongiorno. You came at a good time. I have no idea what language this is. French? German? Something like that? What's with this guy? My name's Cicely Piacere. I probably butchered that. Ah, pleased to meet you. Stella, you're only encouraging him. I have to say, I'm having a piccolo problema. Do you think you could help me out? Eh? You want us to help you? What is it that you want help with? Well, Signorina, I've been counting... I... I I'm gonna die reading this dialogue. Signorina, I've been counting the petals that fall from this tree, but it's a bit difficile to do alone. What language is this guy speaking? Well, about time we hit the old dusty trail. Good idea. Aspetta, <laughs> please wait. Why won't you help me? End this dialogue. This guy is pretty annoying. All I need is someone to help. Even that Signor would suffice, por favor. Huh? Me? And what do you mean, even that Signor? What are you trying to ins insinuate? Alright, Raven, we're counting on you. Why would you count on Raven? Yeah, make it fast, okay? Still don't really understand what's going on, but uh, good luck. We all don't. I guess it's okay? The old man will get things done. He's a real go-getter. What is this? Bene, molto bene. So, Signor, you go and look over that way. I do not know what's happening. Hold on just a second. I still haven't said that I'd help at all. It'll be easier if you just give in and accept your fate, old man. Yeah, make it snappy, would you? Yes, really quick, Raven. We have places to be. I do not want to talk to this man. How do I get talked into things like these? I, I counted all of them. From here all the way over there, there's 97... 1,201 petals in all. Who has the time to count every single petal in this whole halor? I'm not saying I don't believe it. I can believe that number, but who would actually count? I would die. That would take like three days. See, I thought it'd be something like that. Gracias. What the hell's all this for anyway? Oh, Signor, I cannot tell you that. It's a secret. Oh, well. A secret, huh? Whatever. I'm gonna, I'm going to go now. Spedis ignore your name was it? What is it? Raven. Raven, you did a good job today. I'm sure. I'm sure good luck will come your way. Eridiversi. Uh, that's the art. Good luck coming my way? That'd be a nice change. Hey, I just I just realized something. Okay. I'm a pretty complex guy. Uh, that what just happened there? <laughs> like all right, well, that's done, and Raven got an art for it, so I can't even be mad, but what was that? What's up, kids? I'm a child as well. They say that some lady's body is buried under this tree. Yeah, I hear that she was the wife of some emperor a long time ago. Nuh-uh. I heard that she died before the wedding, so she wasn't his wife. Whatever. It's scary, but I think it's true. Yeah, Halor's flowers are so cool, it's hard to believe something weird like that happened. This explains what's been making us feel so funny about this tree. Excuse me, you know that story's not actually true. Nuh-uh, the mayor told it to us. Oh, well, the mayor lied to you because you're children, and adults lie to children. For reasons. What the heck was that old man thinking anyway? And what about this? Oh, with a lovely veil. Where did you get that? A white shadow, like a ghost dropped it. 
You're not saying that the White Shadow was the ghost of the dead bride. <laughs> no way. There's no such thing as ghosts and curse. Rita, were you like watching like the fast in game time, like the past two hours of gameplay? How would you say ghosts and curse are not real when we just dealt with a ghost ship? I just have to know. It's true. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. I'm sure that veil was just dropped by someone in your village. The mayor went around and asked everybody, but it didn't belong to anybody. There's no way. It's just not true, okay? I cannot believe Rita is saying this after witnessing the ghost ship. This girl is really scary. Let's get out of here. Oh, you forgot this. Rita? I'm sorry. What should I do with this? Throw it away. The kids don't want something as ominous as that. I'm sure. How would you know that? I don't think it seems all that om ominous. I actually think it seems more holy. I think I've taken a liking to it. Do you mind if we take it with us? Ugh, if you get cursed, it's your own fault. I thought you said there's no such, such thing as curses. Oh, Yuri, not you too. Shut up, Yuri. A veil, okay. That's an attachment. What on earth was that? I wonder if there's an explanation that's more holy. It seems like there's something more beautiful to all this. Alright. Did they think this through? Did they even think that whole sequence through? I really have to cough. <clears throat> oh my goodness, something in my throat for the longest time. Did they even think that whole thing through? <laughs> because the ghost ship... You most likely get to do that, but like right after the ghost ship. Did they even think that through? Like, oh, this happens right after a ghost ship. I'm just saying. Ooh, angel outfit. I do want Estelle to be an angel. Estelle really is an angel. Um, hit up the, yeah, paramedic. Is that veil uh, an attachment? Alright, well, I work. Alright, perfect. Um... What was I doing? What was I saying? Yeah, but I was saying they, they put that, like, right after the ghost ship. Like, most likely you're gonna do that right after the ghost ship. I feel like they did not think that through. Like, oh, right, the ghost ship happens. So, I mean, I can understand Rita being scared, so she obviously wants to be in denial about the ghost stuff happening, but still. It just sounds very weird to put that... Most likely after. If they put that before the ghost ship, fine, but... I don't even know if you could do this before the ghost ship. I don't know. It's, it's a minor nitpick. It doesn't even matter. Let me check those two Halor quests off. Alright, so we did Sicily quest and we did the Under the Tree quest. So now... Now we're just going back from where we are, like, in the map. We're heading to Dayton Hold and then Zophius. And then Capua Nor and Torum. And I still don't know what we're gonna Oh, how dare you. I still don't know what we're gonna do about um the other um Capua Nor and Torum. Not Capua Nor and Torum, about Green Menace. I'm not even sure if we can go back, honestly. I already scanned you guys, just had to check. Yeah, so we're not gonna be it's a lot of side quests, but they don't side quests are parts in the most side quests are like parts, so they don't take long to clear. So, we're not going to be doing side quests for long. Probably, like, the first hour will be dedicated to side quests. And then we'll definitely head to Nord Nordopolica and work on them as we go and all that. Alright, Dayton, hold. There's a, There's a warehouse puzzle. I absolutely love these. These are also in Tales of the Abyss, and I love them. You guys will see in a minute. That's the guard station. That's the storeroom. Oh, this is the side quest, I think. There you are, you finally got here. Hey, time's a wasting. Come on, hurry along. Huh? Who? Me? Who else does it look like I'm talking to? Youngsters these days, showing up late the first day on the job. Carol has a job? I don't think Carol has a good enough resume for a job. Um, I think you got the wrong person. Let me tell you something. Cleaning warehouses is a wonderful job. Don't you think any less of it? Um... Alright, let's get going now. Wait. Uh, Carol went off with someone. Shouldn't we stop him? Ah, uh, just let him be. <laughs> I mean, Carol can get a paycheck. Oh, yes. 
Help clean the warehouse, move the crates to make a path to collect the contents of the three treasure chests. If you fail to collect if you fail to collect all the treasures before time runs out, you won't be able to re-enter the warehouse again. Oh uh, what? Okay, so yeah, this is a uh, puzzle-like thing. Pretty interesting. What is this music? So I think pushing this here. Push that there. What on earth? I could be butchering this right now. I can always reset. Also, this is gonna take all my brain power. Alright, there's a treasure chest right there, but then I can't get the others. Yeah, this is rough. Push that this way, I guess. I don't even know. I can't push that down. So, like, honestly, see if I can just push it. I'm so confused. I do not understand. I understand what to do, but I don't think I did it right. Restart. All right, let's restart this. Let me think this through. So, I think push this one up here. Either of these two holes. Then there's another, um, there's another, uh, crate here. There's something up there. I can't really do much with this though, so like, push that here, I guess. But then I can't do anything here. Oh, what is this music though? Is my real question. Um, I have no clue. I can't really do much with this, so push that here. Again, I can't really push this out and put it anywhere. Dude, I have no idea how I'm supposed to do this. No clue at all. I don't even have a clue. No frigging clue. I really want to do this, but like, I do not know. Hold up. Wait, no, that doesn't work. I thought I was going to be able to like push that in. No, I can't. I'm not just saying this because I can't figure it out, but this does not look like... Like, how am I supposed to solve this? I can't... Does this even look balanced? It doesn't even look solvable. To me, at least. Maybe I'm missing something. And that's what everyone says when they can't figure out, like, a crossword or a regular puzzle. But still, I do not know. Basically, I cannot fathom how to figure this out. There's gotta be something else I can do, like, move anything else. Alright, alright, alright. Let's, um... Think this through. Um, because like, like, what's the difference if I move this one up here and this one down there? 